Hey there, it's Keith Hayden coming from you from a messy kitchen on a messy Monday, the digital novelist, here to give you an update on my supernatural horror novel, Gates of Okinawa, my project. I've got some really exciting news. But don't forget, you can head over to my website, keithhayden.net. There you'll find the Digital Novelist Explorer Kit. It's going to give everything you need to get started, including a brand new, very cool tool that I just made last week that allow you to get a novel outline in under 60 seconds. It's pretty amazing. Just go to my website and you'll find everything you need at the top of the banner. Today's day 130. I shouldn't have held it like this. Arm's already tired. Damn. Need to go do some push-ups. <laughs> today's already 130, day 139 of the project. And today's chapter turned out to be a double whammy chapter because I started writing it yesterday. I kind of take a break on Sunday, kind of just chill from the week and get ready for the next week. So I wrote about, I don't know, maybe 700 words yesterday, very casually. And then I got up this morning and just found myself wanting to add more to it. Ended up with 2,000 words today. That's a lot for me. Complete chapter. Really good chapter. We we get another flash of a, of a dream sequence with Xena, the main protagonist. She's meeting her husband at the airport after he's coming back to the island from a work trip. And let's just say the reunion doesn't go as planned. And at the end of the day, they end up talking about movies. It's, it's a pretty fun, it was a fun chapter to write, but really escalating things to get to the next part of the story. But that's not the big announcement. It was fun to write, but that's not the big announcement. The big announcement is, if you don't know, I also make music. And I created a theme song for Gates of Okinawa. Now this has become kind of a normal thing for me. Last few works that I put out, I created a theme song for all of them. I just kind of always have had this connection with music. Ever since I was a kid, I liked a lot of video games and I would put up with a bad game if it had a good soundtrack. I was one of, one of those kids. Maybe you can relate to that, but this theme song is, I feel like it really captures the creepiness. It captures the horror aspect, but as I said in previous videos, Gates of Okinawa was a little bit different from a typical horror story because there's also a good amount of adventure in there. You've got this group of kids, you, you see their kind of dynamics, they're teenagers, and then you've got the dynamics between the adults, the kids and the adults, and then you've got Xena herself, her and the other protagonists, and then you've got the demons. So it was kind of hard to balance those elements, but what I came up with is pretty cool. And if you want a sneak peek of the raw audio of the song, then you're gonna have to subscribe to my newsletter, The Digital Novelist Explorer. Just head to my website, you sign up, you'll get access to the post that has just the raw file. Of course, I'm gonna do more to it, I'm gonna develop it, but right now I'm loving the vibe of it, I'm loving the sound of it, and I can really see it with an intro sequence. I'm already putting it together in my head, it's gonna be so cool. Thanks for listening to this quick update for my novel project. How's your novel project going? Are you writing a novel? Have you gotten started? Are you a little bit stuck? If you have questions about novel writing, anything related to planning, producing, publishing your novel, whether it's your first or your nth novel, then hit me up in the comments of this video, in this post, wherever this is at, and I'd love to hear from you. That's it for this update. Until next time, take care.